Hello and welcome to the Punjab Feed, a pioneering English language platform dedicated to bringing you the underreported stories of Punjab and its people. We are committed to bridging the information gap and sharing unique narratives with the world. As French President Emmanuel Macron heads to India for a G20 summit, we delve into a two decade old unresolved issue. We explore how a modern democracy like France, with its historical ties to, the, to this enlightening journey together. The French President en route to India for the G20 summit. As attention turns to a 20 year old unresolved issue, Calls resurface for him to re-evaluate a policy that prohibits Sikh turbans at state schools in France. Sikhi shan da jira pratik hai, the star. O schoola de vich aaj bhi ban hai France de andar. The Shromni Gurdwara Prabandh Committee ne kareeb 2800 leke, the Sarkaranar, the France the Embassy nar, is gal lei ladai ladiya. Paame ki kai tarah de yeh de the star de issue hai. वो हल भी हो श्रोमणी कमेटी के इस दबाव के नाल सिख संगत दे दुनिया दुनिया भर चो आए जोड़े दबा के करके पर एक गल देखने वाली आ कि जो बच्चे आ जोड़े पोंगर रही फुलवाड़ी आ पोंगर रही पनीरी है जी सिख कौम की उन्होंने अज भी दस्तार की पाबंदी स्कूल में दस्तार की पाबंदी जी फ्रांस के लगी हुई है One of the world's most advanced democracies with a hybrid presidential and parliamentary system, France introduced a law in 2004 banning all conspicuous religious articles, including the Sikh turban and patka, along with the Christian cross, the Jewish yarmulke, and the Muslim hijab. The law stemmed from the country's interpretation of secularism, which discourages religious involvement in government institutions. Fast forward to 2023. The Punjab regiment from India, adorned in their resplendent turbans, proudly marched the iconic Champs Elysees during France's Bastille Day parade. But this extravaganza was nothing more than mere symbolism. Young Sikh pupils in France still cannot walk into state schools in the country with their turbans on. France is a permanent member of the UN Security Council and the United Nations categorically reaffirms its faith in equality for all. But the irony cannot be more pronounced when a UNSE member nation denies basic religious freedom to young turban-wearing students of a small minority on its land. Ki France de jehde rashtrapati hai, oh G20 de is summit de vich Delhi pahunch chuke hai. तो उ मोदी साहब के ना उन्होंने मीटिंग भी होनी आ फ्रांस के राष्ट्रपति इतने आए सिखा दे इस मामले में वो जरूर कि ना फ्रांस के राष्ट्रपति ना मिल के उन्होंने इस मसले का हल करा कि मोदी साहब का गुणगान करे जे वीजे बैठे सिख चेहरे है वो इस मसले हल करा The turban ban in French state schools in the 21st century stands in a stark contrast with the country's historical connections to the Sikhs. When Maharaja Ranjit Singh of Punjab embarked on the modernization of his troops in the 19th century, his quest led him to recruit two distinguished officers from the disbanded army of Napoleon Bonaparte. Over the course of several years, 12 out of the 42 foreigners recruited into the Maharaja's army were French. Many Sikh soldiers from India, then part of the British Empire, fought on the French soil against enemy forces during world wars, earning numerous honors. The present-day ban on Sikh turbans in France serves as a reminder of the interplay between history and contemporary challenges that continue to shape the modern world. Meanwhile, Sikhs all around the world wait in anticipation for a response that could redefine the narrative surrounding freedom and secularism in France. Thank you for tuning in to the Punjab feed where we strive to bring you stories that matter. We hope you found today's episode thought provoking. To stay updated on more underreported narratives from Punjab and beyond, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. We value your feedback so don't hesitate to share your thoughts and comments on this episode. Stay tuned as we'll be back soon with another episode. 
Until then, we appreciate your participation in the Punjab Feed community.